Hello, you're welcome back to my channel. This is your girl, Akintuna Evelyn, the Mushroom Crown Princess. And today we are going to learn about how to formulate compost using sawdust as your substrate. It's going to be very educative as usual and exciting, so stay tuned and watch till the end. Composting is an anaerobic method that is used to decompose or break down substrate to make it suitable for mushroom production. So it is the recycling of waste materials to make it useful for the production, to make it useful for the production of mushroom. So we realize that when we go to the sawmill, the sawdust are there and they set fire into it, which causes air pollution and so which causes air pollution so this sawdust can be harvested or collected and then you take it to your home you recycle it to use for your mushroom production so to start your compost formulation you first of all have to get your raw material that is your sawdust and then you have to get the site where you are going to formulate your compost that is a slated surface so after that you have to weigh your sawdust that is your substrate so based on the weight of your sawdust, you'll be calculating 1% of base on the weight to get your calcium carbonate and then 6% out of the weight will also give you the amount of weight brand that you add to your substrate. So in the formulation of compost for mushroom production, I use 1% calcium carbonate and 6% Weed brand based on the weight of your sawdust, you calculate this percentage of additives to add into it. Don't forget that when you go and collect your sawdust or you harvest your sawdust to your farm, the sawdust contains dry matter and water contents. So, 30% of the sawdust weight is made up of water. So, you subtract 30 from 100, which will give you 70%. 70% is considered as the dry matter or the dry weight of the substrate. So, so your 1% of calcium carbonate and then your 6% of wheat bran is calculated based on the 70% of the sawdust. So first of all, you have to weigh your sawdust. So 1 over 100 times the weight of the sawdust will give you the amount of quicklime or calcium carbonate to be added. And 6 over 100 times the weight of the sawdust will give you the amount of weight burn that you are going to use to formulate your compost. So let's zoom into the practical section and get it started. So today we are going to learn about formulation of compost. So when you have gone for your sawdust, the first stage of machine production is to formulate your compost. You have to make the substrate suitable for fungi to develop on. You have to make the substrate suitable for the mushroom to be able to develop on. So first of all, you have to spray your substrate, that is the sawdust. spreading your substrate you have to add an amount of quick brown and quick clay so your quick brown serves as an additive which is a nutrient for the mycelium to grow on once the calcium carbonate help balancing the pH of the substrate so for calculating of the amount of additives that you add to your substrate you add 1% quick lime and then 6% quick brown. So first of all, you have to know the weight of your sawdust. You have to weigh the sawdust, which is your substrate. And then out of the weight of the sawdust, then you calculate 1% quick lime of it and then 6% quick brown. And then you add it to your substrate. So let's get That is the quick line. It's for balancing the pH of the substrate. So,
After you have add your additives to your sash change, you have to make sure that you mix it so that every part of the sash change will have access to the wheat van and the the cook line. Then you also have to add water to enable the bacteria to enhance fermentation position of the sachet. You have to add water and then mix it for more. After you have mixed thoroughly, the next stage is to heap your compost. So you have to heap it in a cold form such that in four days time, you come and do turning of the compost. So we are now going to heap our compost. So you also have to make sure that the water in your substrate is not too much. So when you fold it, the water shouldn't pass in between your finger. And when you open your palm, it should form a shape. That means your water content in your substrate is suitable composition to take place. So the water shouldn't be too much. And then it also shouldn't be too less. So this is how to test for your water content in your sawdust. So we are done with formulation of compost. So after formulating your compost, you heap it and from a four days to five days time, you can come for turning. So in our next video, we'll be talking about how to turn your compost. Apart from the calcium carbonate or the quick lime and the wheat brown that I use in formulating my compost, the, the, there are other additives that you can add. You can add brown sugar. You can also add cow dung, poultry manure 
to your substrate so there are all other additives that you can add to your substrate to promote the growth and yield of your mushroom so this brings us to the end of today's video thank you very much for watching and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed give me a thumbs up and leave your comment at the comment section in our next video we are going to discuss about how to do tanning to enable your compost to be uniformly decomposed to enable your substrate to uniformly decompose for your mushroom production so see you in my next video. Bye-bye.